Hey everybody, I'm BJ and this is Brickhouse Builds. In this video, I got a pair of beautiful CB750s in the shop and we're going to be replacing the 50 year old dry brittle fork boots with some nice fresh ones from Honda. If you guys want to see some more videos on these specific bikes, I have a full playlist that is a revival series on the blue bike and then I also have a couple videos that are more how to focused for the orange bike on how to revive it as well. They will be linked in the description. Anyway, you guys should enjoy this video, so let's get right into it. Okay, as you see, we have the front wheel and the fender off of this thing. So now we can go ahead and start removing the fork leg and corresponding boot. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to take my heat gun and we'll put a little heat right here because there is a ring that's really kind of clamped onto the lower fork leg. And so we'll soften that up with a little bit of heat and then that'll make it a lot easier to kind of pry this thing off. And that way we don't damage the aluminum of the fork leg itself. And then after that, I can, uh, I can go ahead and loosen some of the bolts on here. We'll hopefully slide the fork leg out and be able to actually remove this section here, this little ring, it's like a retainer ring on here. So hopefully we can get that thing off with no problem. And then basically just reassemble. We'll do one side at a time and that way the headlight's not gonna like fall off or anything like that. It should be pretty straightforward. So for now, I'm going to get the heat gun out. We will get that thing heated up and start removing everything. You'd think as brutal as that rubber was, that bottom would have split the first time you put a screwdriver on. Yeah. It's really thick there. You know? It's like hard plastic at this point. Yeah. I was wondering how they kept it in there. I wonder if there's a groove at the top, too. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a, yeah, there's and that some... chrome piece or whatever. Yeah, just like most of them. They all trap moisture right here and a little bit pitted.
removed. So I think I misunderstood how that was attached on the other side. It just pops off of here and this is just kind of a tension fit down on top of it. It's not like a locking ring. Whatever, learn something new every day. So I think I can just heat this up while it's still attached and just pop it off like that. So that's what we're gonna do. So much, so much easier than I originally thought. Oh my gosh. Uh, so essentially you don't have to take these ears off whatsoever. I really had that overcomplicated in my head. Live and learn. These things are still a pain in the butt on the bottom though. Um, I might actually score it with a razor blade just to help it maybe like rip apart. But uh, yeah, that makes, that makes life a lot easier. It is nice to go ahead and take these things off. That way you can kind of clean the rubber bushings in here and just make them nice again. Maybe put some, uh, some kind of rust preventative and stuff in there. I don't know, but yeah, it's way easier. logical place that, it, that the bolt can fall is in the drip tray. That's okay. As long as the fluid ends up there, we're happy. I've already taken the C-clip off the top. I had to fight it for a while, but I have this thing clamped into the fork just to give me some more leverage. Now we can slide hammer this thing apart.
doing this a little precariously because I still don't have my vise here right now of all things. So I can't just like hold this in the vise and then pour it in and then do the cap. But we're getting it done. One fork leg done. back on the bike. That's so easy. Now there's the little vent holes, should be facing down, that way you know that you have them right, but I'm also going to make sure they're clocked to the back before I go any further. Right there. Home stretch.
Okay, this bike is done. I know I didn't show it on camera, but I did go ahead and re-bleed the brakes, change the fluid in it, just to be safe. So this thing's, this thing's set now. We can turn our attention to this. And uh, yeah, I just figured I would wait and use that jack because it works so much better for this bike. Anyway, this one should go a lot smoother as far as the boots are concerned. We don't have to take the uh, headlight ears off, but I don't really want to take apart the whole front end again. So I think I might try to cheat this one and just drop the entire front wheel and everything, like both forks attached, just straight out of the triple, swap the, uh, swap the boots and throw it right back on. So that's going to be my goal for this. And also the fact that we can actually remove the plate on the lift here means that we should have access to, to drop it down lower without raising the bike excessively far. So let's see how it goes. First order of business before we take apart the front end is to go ahead and cut these things, just get them unseated from their, from their home and uh, that'll make our job easier. So on the second boot last time I cut it like this, just kind of scored it and that made life a lot easier after we applied heat. Easy. Super easy. So. Now I have had these forks off as well as a lot of other stuff on the bike about a year, little over a year ago. So I've already done fork seals in this thing. So I know they're good, but it'll be nice to replace the boots, clean the legs up again and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this other side real quick. And then we can start with dropping the whole front end. Is this going to work? I don't know. Sweet. Ah, that scared me. All right, now the mission is to try to drop the whole assembly out as one 
So I've cleaned up the fork legs that way I can kind of grab onto them and rotate them. They should slide out with relative ease. Again, I had this thing apart a little over a year ago. So I know I have like lubricant on the rubber and stuff inside there. So I will go ahead and loosen up the clamps and then pull my plate out of here. And we'll just see how it goes. Shouldn't drop out or anything like that. We should have to fight and wiggle, wiggle it a little bit. Let's go for it. Alarmingly loose. Alright, well, it felt okay. Okay. Easy enough. So much better. Okay. It's probably going to be a little bit more challenging assembling this. I have to like lift it up, guide it in carefully, and then twist. And so it, it will be a little bit challenging, but we'll figure it out.
That's quick. Okay, we have both CB750s done, and now we can turn our attention to that CB750. I haven't shown that on the channel yet, but that is going to be a cool one. We're not going to do fork boots on it. We're going to make that thing run, though. So, really happy I got this job done, though. The process on dropping the whole front end on that took a half hour total. That was really awesome. So, very excited that I was able to knock that one out that easily. Obviously the orange bike, we had to do fork seals on it, so we had to go more in depth, but for now, this thing really needs very little. So eventually we'll do a clutch on it. We still gotta do some swing arm bushings, but it's pretty hard to take apart a uh, running, riding bike. I just enjoy this thing, so. But that's gonna do it for this one. I will link everything that I used on these bikes in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.